Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about log analytics query logs, which enables us to see who has executed what kind of query into the log analytics workspace sitting beneath Microsoft Sentinel. Now to do that, first we need to go to settings and uh, we need to go to workspace settings and uh, once you go to workspace settings we should be taken to the underlying log analytics workspace we can always go to that place directly as well but uh, right now we have navigated it through sentinel settings and uh, once that appears we should use the left navigation to find the diagnostic settings and try to click on that and once we click on the diagnostic settings we should see there is an option to create a new settings or if you have already configured you can see the existing settings here which is the case in this instance so we can edit the existing settings and once we edit the settings we should be able to see the option it provides so it can log audit logs it can go for all logs it can also log all metrics just for you know to get you know, all the logs have enabled all the check boxes but you can be specific now we can send log to log analytics which we'll be doing in this instance otherwise we can also send it to a storage account even hub or to a partner solution right now as it is configured, uh, we don't need to save it. Otherwise, for the first time, we need to save it. And then, once done, we should go back to Microsoft Sentinel using the breadcrumb and straight away jump to the log section. And once we click on the log section, we should see the log section start to appear here. And once the log section appears here right we can type in the query and uh, just in case you have configured the diagnostic settings for the first time right you can wait for maybe some time to make sure that the configuration is executed and it basically takes a while to kind of logs to be ingested and once it's in it will be going from there now just to write the query as a sample one right so we will start writing daily query logs it also appears in intelligence right and uh, what we would do in that case is take one just to be more efficient in the query and then hit run now let us look at the response and if we expand the result set uh, the sample one here it's gonna show the tenant ID time generated AD object ID tenant ID AD email for the user who has basically tried to query and uh, the query start time end time right and the query obviously the query text right and certain other performance matrices so that's how we can look through who has queried and who has run executed what kind of queries now to get a broader visibility we can also leverage workbooks so i will quickly jump onto the workbook section so let's say okay because we don't want to save it and uh, once the workbook gets loaded here we should be able to search a particular workbook in templates so just give it a moment for this instance to load now as it's loaded we will search for query and uh, it's gonna show log analytics query analysis we should be selecting that and click on view templates 
and once we click on view templates it is going to load the templates from gallery as you can see here it's defaulted to subscription selected and the workspace along with the time range and and if we scroll through this it's going to give us certain parameters like average will count average response duration cpu time and any other details it also talks about the user or top 10 user based on the responses so with this particular trend report and finally also a query over time query response over time right so 